Devil's Claw, Nature's Very Scary Anti-Inflammatory. Hi, I'm Dr. James Machino. You know, Devil's Claw is a native plant of Southern Africa, and the tubers of the plant contain very powerful active constituents, and the most famous ones are known as the harpogocytes. But there are probably other active constituents in Devil's Claw that are still being identified. The medicinal use of Devil's Claw has been for the treatment of rheumatic inflammatory conditions and other types of arthritic conditions, and also for digestive problems because it's a bitter. That means it increases the release of stomach acid, which helps you digest proteins more effectively. Clinical studies have proven that Devil's Claw supplementation is extremely helpful for many arthritic and inflammatory conditions. How it works is a bit of a mystery. No one seems to really yet grasp how Devil's Claw is creating the anti-inflammatory effect, but it does work. But you need the right dosage, and the dosage is 200 to 500 milligrams, two to three times a day, has to be a standardized grade of two to three percent harpogocyte content. Now here's the word of caution. This is where Devil's Claw is very scary. It's been shown to, in human subjects, reactivate old ulcers or make existing ulcers much worse to the point where they could start bleeding. That's a serious side effect. Also, it has a powerful anticoagulant effect. And as such, it's been shown to actually produce internal bleeding problems in human subjects using Devil's Claw. That's why it scares me. So you should never combine Devil's Claw if you're taking aspirin or ibuprofen or indomethacin or Celebrex, any non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug has anticoagulant effects as well. When you add Devil's Claw to the mix, man, you're asking for an internal bleeding problem. Or if you're already on an anticoagulant like Warfarin or Coumadin or Plavix or one of the new generation of anticoagulant drugs, you're asking for trouble if you're using Devil's Claw to manage an inflammatory condition. My preference to manage inflammatory conditions is to use herbs that do the same thing but are much safer. The combination of curcumin, white willow bark extract, ginger, and uh, boswellia, that combination, you know, the risk of internal bleeding and, and ulcers and so on, you know, is almost non-existent. And they can be combined with other, uh, you know, anti-inflammatory medications where devil's claw, boy, you're really taking a chance. So, um, uh, my suggestion is to, if you want to really know about Devil's Claw and really get the, you know, the, uh, all, all the, the details behind it and the safety profile, is click on the link below and read my short review article on Devil's Claw. All the details are there, including the scientific references. Now, MachinoHealth.com, you'll see my other research review papers. You'll see footage from my live professional seminars. Other downloads, resources, and videos I've created, they're all there for free to help you lead a long, healthy, functional life. My research review papers and teaching materials are complete with all the scientific references to ensure that you're getting only evidence-based information from me on any health topic that you're looking for. So you should use MachinoHealth.com as an ongoing, reliable resource of health and wellness information for both you and your family. Thanks so much for watching.